Okay, I'm back with chapter 37. It talks about the making of the ark. <laughs> it says, Bezalel made the ark of the Kea wood. Two cubits and a half was its length, a cubit and a half its breadth, and a cubit and a half its height. He overlaid it with pure gold inside and outside, and made a molding of gold around it. And he cast for it four rings of gold for its four feet, two rings on two rings on its one side, and two rings on its other side. And he made poles of the Kea wood and overlaid them with gold. He put the poles into the rings on the sides of the ark to carry the ark. And he made a mercy sea of pure gold, two cubits and, and, and a half was its length, and a cubit and a half its breadth. And he made two cherubim of gold, two angels. He made them of hammer work on the two ends of, of the mercy seat, one cherub on the one end, uh, and one cherub on the other end. Basically, they're these angels that he, that, he, that he had built, they were facing each other with their wings over them. And God would, when God would come down from heaven to, to talk to the Israelites, he would sit on the mercy seat between the two angels. It's pretty cool. Um, let's see. It says that the cherubim spread out their wings above, overshadowing the mercy seat with their wings, with their faces one, one to another towards the mercy seat where the, where, where, where the faces of cherubim. Um, now the question is, why, why were the two cherubim, or why were the two angels, you know, bow, why were they, you know, bowing down to God? Because they were basically bowing, they bowing down to God. I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, they were bowing down to God, and um, to show that the two angels were were were, um, were covering themselves by their wings was showing that, was showing that they were bowing down um, to the glory of God, pretty much, because their body. One day, everyone in heaven, on earth, and in hell, they will, we will all bow down and confess that Jesus Christ is God. He is. He is God. Amen. Um, it says, making the table. He also made the table of a cave wood. Two cubits was its length, and a cubit its breadth, and a cubit and a half its height. And he, over, and he overlaid it with pure gold and made it a molding of gold around it. He made a rim around it, a hand breadth wide, and made a molding of gold around the rim. He cast for it four rings of gold and fastened the rings to the four corners as four legs. Close to the frame were the rings as holders for the poles to carry the table. He made the poles of Kea wood to carry the table and relayed them with gold. And he made the vessels of pure gold that were to be on that were to be on the table. Its plates and dishes, for instance, and its bowls and flagons with which to pour drink offerings, making the lampstand. He also made the lampstand of pure gold. He made the lampstand of hammered work. His base, his stem, his cups, his calyxes, and his flowers were one of were uh, were one of, were one piece with it. And there were six branches going out of the sides, three branches of the lampstand out of one side of it, and three branches of the lampstand out of the other side of it. Three cups made like almond blossoms, each with calyx and flower on one branch, and three cups made like almond blossoms, each with calyx and flower on the other branch. So for the six branches going out of the lampstand, and on the lampstand itself were four cups made like almond blossoms with their calyxes and flowers, and a calyx of one piece with this with it under each pair of the six branches going out of it. Their calyxes and their branches were one of, were of one piece with it. The whole of it was a single piece of hammer work of pure gold. He made its seven lamps and its tongues and its trays of pure gold. He made it and all these utensils out of the talent of pure gold. Making the altar of incense, he made the altar of incense of the care wood, its length was a cubit, and its breadth was a cubit. It was square, and two cubits was its height. Its horns were of one piece with, he, with it. He ever laid it with pure gold, its top and around its sides and its horns. He made a molding of gold around it, and made two rings of gold on it under, the, under its molding, on two opposite sides of it, as holders for the, for the poles and with which to carry it. He made the poles of care wood and overlaid them with gold. He made the holy anointing oil also and the pure fragrance incense blended as by the perfumer. So basically they're just, they're just pretty much building everything by gold. Like I said in my previous video, they chose gold because gold is the precious metal on earth. So they want to represent God you know, with the precious metal, metal on earth, which is gold. Um, and again, the reason why they made these angels on, on the opposite sides of, uh, of, the, of the ark was they had, these, they had these two angels that were bound before the seat of God pretty much and these angels with their wings would they would cover themselves because they were basically bound to God bound to his glory 
uh, while covering their cells, um, not while covering while covering their their bodies while they worship God, because God's holy, and nothing can come to God, you know, unless God saves us and we repent of our sins. With all all way to come to God is, is Him saving us, convicting, convicting us of our sins, which leads us to repent and coming up, coming up for salvation. But um, sin can enter. And sin cannot enter uh, into God's glory. Um, like I said, the only way that we can come to God is by God saving us through His Son's blood, convicting us of our sins, washing us by His Son's blood, washing our sins away, convicting us of our sins, and leading us to repent, and leading us you know, to, to, to salvation through Jesus Christ. But anyway, that's uh, that's chapter 37, and 38 will be will be next.